Hi, welcome to the Film Prop Channel. Today I'm going to tell you about an action comedy movie from 1991 called, The Dragon Twins. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and support me with a like. That way the channel will grow. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. At the hospital, two beautiful babies are born with noses just like their fathers. They are twins and resemble each other like two peas in a pod. The parents think of names for the children and how they can tell them apart when they look so much like each other. But their idol is interrupted by a criminal being wheeled in on the couch at the time. He snatches the policeman's gun, frees himself, and accidentally enters the room with the happy family. The criminal takes the child and jumps out the window. The policemen try to catch him, but in vain. However, one of the policemen still catches the criminal by hooking his car. But the kid is not in it. The family flies back to the United States without finding their child. That fateful night, the stroller with the baby rolled right into the hands of a girl who likes to drink. She decided to raise the child. The twins grew up separated from each other in different countries. One is a pianist named John Ma and the other a car mechanic named Die Hart, raised by the streets. While the former plays the piano in the big hall, the latter is constantly fighting and getting into trouble. There is some kind of connection between them on a physical level. For example, the second one's hand shakes as if he were the one playing the piano even though he doesn't even know how to do it. Dai decides to go out with his friend Tyson to a restaurant. They dress decently, but they are still not allowed in. At this time, the mafia sitting in the restaurant starts muttering something into the microphone along with the singer, who has been creating an atmosphere in the restaurant all this time with her beautiful singing. She gets upset when someone interrupts her and she leaves the stage. The mob boss yells for her to come back, but she doesn't want to. Dai and Tyson intervene and stand up for the girl because Tyson is lying about it being his girlfriend. However, when they realize that all the guests of this restaurant are mafia men, they get very scared, but since they started a scuffle, they have to finish it. Dai is a masterful fighter with a mob crowd. He is a good fighter, after all, he was raised by the streets. Tyson reminds him that he took his gun with him and it saves them. But because of Tyson's stupidity, it turns out that the gun is a regular gun and they have to run away with the girl. Dai stays to fight the mob so his friend can have a head start. The mob pounces on him like ants and Dai is left with nothing to do but lose. They are tied up with Tyson, but before their legs are about to be broken, they make a bet with the mob, lying that they are the best racers and they are released, taking their passports so they don't run away. When they get in the car, it turns out that the girl from the restaurant doesn't know Tyson at all, even though he lied about being his girlfriend. She takes off her blue-haired wig and says her name is Barbara. This makes Dai very angry and he walks home. In the meantime, the famous conductor and musician John Ma returns to Hong Kong to give a concert. They accidentally run into Dai near the hotel, but they can't believe their eyes, because they look like two peas in a pod, so they don't get acquainted. John Ma goes up to the hotel to see his uncle and his daughter Tammy. He wants to set Tammy up with John and sends her to John's room. They get to know each other and quickly find common ground. John notices how her dress is tight and her posture leaves much to be desired, and decides to give her a massage to circulate her blood. After a couple of minutes of massage, she's already falling asleep. Dai decides to skip town with Tyson. They rent a stolen boat and try to sail away, but the boat owner turns them into the mafia. A chase through the water begins after them. At this time, John, who is sitting in the restaurant, begins to rock as if he were also sitting in the boat. Tammy becomes alarmed by this. John starts rocking harder and douses the girl with water. Dai, meanwhile, is still trying to evade the chase, while one of the mob men shoots Tyson with a hook, though he only hits the life vest. Dai thinks Tyson has been shot, so he tries to get revenge and jumps on the mobster's boat. Tyson, meanwhile, realizes that the hook didn't hit him, and he doesn't know how to operate the boat, so he ends up back in town. Their escape is thwarted, the mob boss has an accident, and Tyson ends up in the hospital. Now Dai just has to work for the mafia or else his friend will be in trouble. At this time, Tammy gets a call from her boyfriend Rocky asking about where she is now. She lies to him about something, except Rocky is standing right next to her. He thinks Tammy dumped him for John and is going to deal with John. Tammy manages to warn John and they run away. Di meets Barbara at a restaurant to discuss Tyson. He wants Barbara to visit him, but she doesn't want to give his friend false hope. She's not interested in him. Right behind Di, John and Tammy sit down. They sit quietly until Rocky comes into the restaurant and finds their table. John quietly leaves, and Rocky confuses the brothers and starts chasing Dai. Tammy tries to protect him, and a perplexed Dai finally gives him back. Rocky doesn't calm down and continues to attack Dai. John, meanwhile, runs into Barbara, 
who mistakes him for Dai and gets into his car. They drive off. Rocky causes a mayhem at the mall while Dai tries in vain to explain to him that he has no reason to be angry with him, he doesn't even know him. Tammy hugs Dai and leaves with him. Brothers swap girlfriends. Tammy asks Dai to give her a massage, just like that time, and he considers it an invitation to bed and is very happy. John brings Barbara to the stage and plays her the piano. She can't believe her eyes and thinks it's some kind of prank. John invites her to the piano and they play together while Di makes love to Tammy. John kisses Barbara. The girls are still perplexed by how different their boyfriends have become. They are getting ready to perform and walk into the same bathroom. They come to a shock when they see each other so close. The brothers realize that they have exchanged girlfriends. Di sneezes after smelling a flower, and John sneezes with him. John asks him about the boat ride and Di did go on the boat ride, so John got seasick. The puzzle comes together, though they still don't realize they are separated brothers. The guys swap girlfriends again, and by coincidence, phone numbers. Di calls John and tells him that they are about to have trouble and need to run, but his phone dies. By mistake, they swap girls again. The mob catches John and makes him work for them, and Di gives a concert in John's place. He is very afraid to give the concert, Tammy says he has lived and studied all his life for this concert and Di decides to come out. He picks up his wand and stands on the step from which he almost falls and waves his hands. The musicians take this as a command and start playing. Di quickly figures out what to do. In the meantime, John is involved in a major scuffle. Di runs away from the concert while conducting and calls John, who tells his brother not to bother and just waves his wand while he himself is forced out of the car at gunpoint. Di does return to the gig with a cigarette and starts improvising, going off on a spree. Jeans are jeans. John is forced to drive a major mob boss in a big car. Their physical connection makes itself felt again. John conducts as he rides in the car, and Di strangely twists his arms in the air as if he were the one driving the car. John's car flips over, just as Di himself flips over at the concert. It all ends in a great climax in both cases. John manages to escape, and Di's concert goes just fine. They meet in the same hotel room and say it's time to end it all, but Tammy comes into the room. They try their best to hide the fact that there are two of them from her. Di isn't ready to say goodbye to her and the situation gets serious. It gets to the point where he and Tammy are sitting in the same bathroom trying to hide the fact that they are two different people. Barbara comes to them and tries to figure out what is going on. John decides to lay his cards on the table and shows them Di. The girls faint as the brothers make their way down to the first floor of the hotel. They tell each other that they could have been brothers and shake hands. Now they have to get away from the mob and save Tyson. John goes to the mob as bait along with the case and talks them over while Di sneaks onto the crane where Tyson is hanging and tries to free him. The mob boss pushes the button, believing he has killed Tyson, but Di manages to turn the crane and his friend falls into the fishing nets. To give John a chance to escape, Di grabs the explosive barrels with the crane and drops them on the mob, firing his gun at them. The mob scatters in different directions, and Di is chased. John escapes with Tyson in his arms to the car testing center. The mafia runs after them as they run through the temperature and water resistance testing rooms. Di comes running in as well. The mafia doesn't understand at all what is going on, and John has to fight for the first time. The two brothers fight in different rooms. One in a room with rain and the other in a room with intense heat. The mob is already startled by these sudden changes in John and Di. They run from room to room until they still escape from there. On the way out, they are met by the remaining mobsters, who already have guns. John and Tyson have to hide until Di arrives in a car and disperses the mob. Once again, Di masterfully disperses everyone, using everything he can get his hands on. At one point he almost gets hit by Tyson in a test car. At the moment of the fight, the mobsters finally figure out that one knows how to fight and the other doesn't at all, but here's the problem. Di is in a cage he can't get out of. This is where their mysterious physical connection comes in. Dai begins to show his movements in the cage, and John repeats them and manages to fight back the bandit. The brothers easily take out the mob boss, putting him in the testing car. The brothers have a double wedding where the parents see their second son after all this time, and the father faints altogether. They try to run away, but are stopped by the girls. None of them can guess who is who. What difference does it make, though? 